Welcome. Let's get right into part 14 of this live steam Charles Loco build. It's time for the cranks and the coupling rods. Here are the sawn crank blanks, cut from 3 quarter by 5 16 inch mild steel bar. I tinned the blanks with my plumber's solder using my 80 watt soldering iron and zinc chloride flux brushed on. I preheated the blocks a bit with the LPG blowtorch. Here's the block of cranks all lined up and sweated together using the butane blowtorch. I should have washed off the flux before sweating them together. I'll show you why. Fly cutting the first face. The finished dimension is 0.7 inch. Here's the block milled to the basic dimensions, 1.1 inches by 0.7 inch. You can just see staining emerging from the joints where flux seeps out and rusts the steel. The next operation was to drill the axle hole. It is 5 sixteenths of an inch finish size. I centre drilled, drilled through 19 sixty-fourths, then 7.8 mil, and finally 7.9 mil, leaving a small amount for reaming. 5 sixteenths is 7.94 mil. Both holes have been drilled. The smaller hole is 7.30 seconds for the crank pins. The reaming was done in the bench drill later, as I use hand reamers and they need to pass right through the job and then some. Generating the big 0.350 inch radius for the bottom of the crank. First I made two 45 degree cuts to remove the bulk of the material, then took 10,000 steps. Using my new half inch end mill, the flanks of the cranks will be tapered by 13 degrees each side, so the big radius should go 13 degrees past what is possible with this setup. Here's the calculations. The spreadsheet is great for being able to convert the movements in the correct direction for the vertical slide and lead screw. 59 on the plunger clock. and 30 on the lead screw. Engage the clutch. And let's make one cut. The cutter is running at 600 RPM. It isn't recommended to mount milling cutters in the three jaw chuck. I've had no problems and only take light cuts. The job has been brushed with cutting oil. The finish machined radius, ready for smoothing off by filing. Starting on a small radius. Small radius machined, I stopped 13 degrees short of the full 180 degrees so that the flanks blend properly. First flank fly cut. Profile complete and smoothed. The 5 16 inch hole has just been reamed. Here they are apart, ready for cleaning up with abrasive paper under a running tap. Drilling through 2.5mm for M3 grub screws on both sides. This is the same as on the quarry hunslet. Here's the setup to get the crank in the correct orientation for drilling. This is the style of grub screw I use. Flat bottoms so they don't damage the axle too much. Here's the coupling rods drawing. These are the original dimensions, so I divide them by 0.625 to get the size for the 12th scale. 
I'm using the alternative method, using a separate brazed on boss assembly. I tried a single boss first to see how it would go. The boss is from 3 8 by 3 16 steel strip, and the rod from 1 quarter by 1 8 steel strip. I milled a 1 8 slot in the boss, 1 8 deep, which the rod fitted closely. The radius boss silver brazed to the rod. I machined the half inch radius step by step. Here's the boss angled to blend in with the rod. I filled in the milled channel with plumber's solder. The colour matches nicely with the steel. Here's the newly applied solder. It needs filing down. Solder quickly clogs the file. I use a brass bristled suede brush to clean the file teeth. The first connecting rod. Milling two bosses for the second rod. Cutting oil has been brushed on. A vice in a vice. The boss radius has been filed smooth. The coupling rod straight after silver brazing. The lower rod has been pickled in citric acid to the level of the second clear patch, each end one at a time. Milling the angled blend in. The rod was set using a protractor set to 60 degrees against the chuck diameter. The setup for drilling the crank pin holes. Five inches apart. That's 50 turns of the cross slide. The holes on both rods came out at about six thou too far apart. The rods are nearly finished. They need oil holes drilling. I may bush them. We will see at the fitting stage. Cranks and rods loosely in position. Thanks for watching.